Welcome to a video where we'll be taking a look at how we can change the body color via scripting. So to change the color, we need a reference to this material, to this core material. So what we're going to need is two scripts, one to control the UI and one to control the body color. So let's do that. Okay, so we have the two scripts that I've just created right here customization and UI customization manager. This customization will be applied to each and every vehicle. So this is one of our vehicles. We're gonna lock it. We're gonna find the script like this one, for example, customization, and we're gonna apply it. And we're inside of the customization script. So this is going to hold the color object or the material. So let's create an instance for that. And after creating an instance for that, we're going to create a method to change the color of this material. So let's do that. Okay, here it is. I've named it set color. Now this set color will take in a parameter. The parameter will obviously be a type of color. So we're going to accept a parameter each time this method will be called. So inside the brackets, we're just going to say color and we're going to name it like C. And now to apply the color that we just imported from this input field in here into this material is very simple. All we need to say is the material, which is body color, dot color is equal to C. And there we have it. We are changing the color of this body color material. We're going to save that and we're going to go back to Unity. And now into our vehicle, we should have a body color empty material. Now all that's left for us to do is to grab the material and drop it inside the body color material. And that's it. Now let's make a function to pass in a color into this material. And for that, we're going to use UI Customize Manager. We're going to use this script to call this method, which is attached to a vehicle. Now each vehicle has a component named car controller attached to it. So in order to get a instance to this car, we're going to look for this car controller. So let's see how we can do that. First, we're going to define a car instance. And there we have it. We have a null controller. Now we need to initialize this controller to find this game object. So to do that, we're going to use a start method. And in the start, we're going to say controller is equal to find object of type car controller. Now we have a reference to this car controller and we can do whatever we want with this game object. Now, since this script is attached to the same game object as this car controller, we can grab that instance as well. So let's do that. Create a reference to the customizations, which is this script right here. And then to initialize this script, we can say customization is equal to controller dot get component and we can simply pass customizations. OK, now we have the, a reference to both of these scripts. Now let's actually use the scripts. So since this script is going to be managing the UI input, we are going to make some public methods. And to do that, we are going to hard code some colors into that material. So to do that, we are going to say public void set color red. What this method is going to do is simply execute this method right here. So to do that, we are going to say customizations dot set color. And then in here, we are going to pass in a color. And since we're using just a straight up red color, we are going to say color dot red. Now let's duplicate this color red a couple of more times and let's rename these. We're also going to change the color type. And now we're done with scripting. OK, now let's make a simple UI to trigger those methods. OK, here is our simple UI. All it has inside is a placeholder and then some objects with a simple sprite attached to it. Now let's grab this UI customize manager and let's set it to the root object of this colors game object. OK, here it is. We have a empty car controller and a empty customizations. And now what's left for us to do is to go into each of these colors and then simply grab this game object colors and drop it into this on click method. Now we should have axis set colors. First one is going to be color red and you might have guessed it. We're going to do the same process for these other colors. And there it is. 
Now we have a simple UI and all that's left for us to do is to hit play. And as we can see, we can change the body color of this game object. We can set it to black, white, red, green, or whatever you might want. And that's basically how you can change body colors of any material. Now, if you've been following this tutorial so far, you might be wondering that, yes, you can change the color of this particular car. But if you go back to this one, we can see that you cannot change the color. And that's because this is referring to the very first vehicle. And to fix that, we are simply going to rename this start method into something like attach, maybe. And then we're going to call this method every time we want to set a color to a specific vehicle. So simply, so simply add this line before you want to change any color and you should be fine. Okay, now if we try to change the colors, Obviously, it works with this car. And now if we go back to this one, it changes for this car as well. So that's about it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next videos.